Onivia, League of Legends highlights. I, I don't dislike what DK have, but this is exactly the type of comp where one mistake immediately locks you out of the game because you have no front line. Oh, this they hit two. Uh, Lahans it's gonna be does. so strong, Lahans. Let's see if he can keep Pace safe, who has also hit level two. The stun is going to come in, and Pace in a lot of trouble. The max range handshake gets the job done, and it's first blood for aiming in the bottom. Up a level, about 18 CS, but I do think you don't contest this at Genji. I think it's nice that Genji are like, hey, poking and prodding, can we get something going? We can't. Completely fine. Get a blade in mid. If this were challengers. Oh, no. They, <laughs> we'd, we'd be already get tanky regardless. And He'll do yeah, his job. I think the bigger part of that is that aiming is quite fed at the moment. As the handshake is perfect from Kellen, and Lahens is in a lot of trouble here. Might have to flash away from this one. He will commit to it. Will he even live though? As flash over the wall, the Merc Tread's not going to help out in that case. As Canyon is there, and in fact, Lahens survives. So at the end of the day, Gen G trading up in this one. Even with the Mercs not staying alive. Oh, uh -oh. Jovi. And they see him. Is it going to matter? The handshake is great once again, but Kellen is so incredibly low. He is going to get away as Jovi not quick enough. opening up the map in a huge way because King is just not here. Uh, I guess maybe trying to set up for a Rift Herald's play, but Gen G's macro is so clean that they're like, okay, you want to set up. This would be really big for DK. It's not the best soul, but it's a soul point nonetheless. Showmaker has his ultimate available, but they're very late. I think this is already gone. It's Can gone. they find the fight? Uh, well, I mean, Lucid, Lucid he's running get into the pit, but he's going to have to. Yeah, he's going to get it. Okay, gets into the pit, smites it away, and Gen Z are like, all right, sure, take it away. We don't want to fight you right now. And a great job, the comp position yeah. at keeping you at, at arm's length and basically controlling a lot of space and saying, okay. Gets hit. It just shows the struggle. Like, it shows the struggle. Oh, oh God. Well, speaking of struggling, uh, there's no Fates Call, there's no Flash, there's no Kellen. Uh, he did survive there with the bait. That's good, right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta band together. Again. Oh, so, yeah, you got to try something. We should have known that this was coming in. Now, Fate's Call is just all okay. right. Flash for flash. Trading flashes. I suppose that's good for DK. <laughs> As now, again, they're just keeping him at arm's length. And DK are like, well, we don't have Engage. We don't have a way to get in there. The ult comes down from Showmaker. And they're just being poked out. Has a lick. In the bush. Does happen once again. Canyon does get hand shook quite a bit. as. Yeah, that's going to be the end of Kellen. That was your engage, I guess, as now here comes Canyon with the R button, gets the job done. Well, actually, he gets the job done to himself, just dies immediately. And that'll be the jungler of Gen G comp. But they still have the pressure, and they're still going to continue the push. All according to Canyon's plan, dying there guarantees the most amount of turn. No, it was, uh, <laughs> it was him, him uh, going ham on Vi, got flashed into the enemy team when he was uh, in his ult. But it doesn't matter. They don't need Baron. <laughs> <laughs> what is this game, but man? The, like, the, the Banna actually come through. Nicely done from Hayes here as well, as walks out of the Equalizer, already has his ult at the ready, so he can't even auto-attack. Anyone in this team is Canyon. You know, we've all played by. We, we, we know what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, he's going to do it again. Lucid this time flashes on in, and this time it makes sense. Able to get away, but look at this front line. Canyon just being murdered as he goes down quite quickly to the damage of the TF and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that has been the game Maybe so this far. Is the one. All right, well, we do have a very funny looking handshake as now Jovi just gonna sweep him up and he just dashes away, but over the wall goes Showmaker, will collect oh. the kill. And now this dragon is quite scary, but he dashes away actually, as the follow-up does come in here and the damage from Paze and from Keen is too huge, the range as well. Just going to shell like artillery over there, Tom Kench. Picks up a kill, and now he got the straight position, but is able to stopwatch, also doesn't get hit by the ult, and that uh, from Showmaker. And meanwhile, this time Canyon's going to send it, and you know what, he's kind of alone, as meanwhile on the top side, Keen, just getting on in there, they're gonna pick off Kingen, and yep. Canyon actually got out somehow. Yeah, that's TF. He got the Valor flip, and don't let DK get back in the game that way. Look, they can just push. Yeah, they just get the inibs and not care. And you see DK, they're gonna try to force this one. Lahens though tanking up so much, and meanwhile they're doing more damage to the five stack of DK.
As Am now can the end. end. Yeah, I think they're just going to stop the backs. As we do have the rumble, this is going to be smited down by Canyon. And yes, he gives his life, but he's giving his life to potentially win the game. And that is totally fine as the backs once again trying to come out here. We There's do no see TP. King in trying to get back into the base as a bunch of poking is coming down. Toby, meanwhile, is going to go down though as the bailout. Oh no, he did get devoured actually. As it will be Showmaker who gets taken out. And now Keen is here on the flank. He gives up the push in mid just to rejoin the fight after taking out two Nexus turrets. And even King and on the player cam is like, what are you going to do about that? He was laughing because they are getting run around the map here. Oh boy. Yep. Flash over the wall. And Keen is going to take that kill, and you just regroup up in mid. I feel like the crowd is kind of stunned by what has happened here. It didn't feel like a normal game of League of Legends, as Gen G will take game number one. Let it be known that Gen G only take fights when they deem them worthy.